Hi, it's David with Precision Tone, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Yaskawa Sigma 2 Series uh, Servo Pack uh, SGDH. And uh, to find the, the failure information for these, you're going to want to look at the seven segment display on the front of these drives, or if you have a handheld digital operator, you can take a look at it from the side. Uh, this is just going to be a quick overview about some of the alarms, so uh, any alarms that aren't on here, if you're looking for more troubleshooting, please contact Precision Zone. Alright, so we're going to start with some of the soft alarms that, that are on here. You're going to get uh, Alarms 2, Alarm 4, Alarm 5. Those are some of the alarms that you can get on these drives. Uh, those usually indicate uh, a problem with corrupted data or possibly parameter settings. And in those cases, uh, you can try initializing the drive and that would, uh, sometimes that does clear uh, the alarms. If it doesn't clear the alarm, then it's likely that you have a control board uh, issue or a control circuitry issue. Uh, on that same topic, other control circuit issues that you can have uh, would be alarms 3 and alarm CPF00, CPF01. Uh, in the majority of those cases, uh, it's going to be a problem with the control circuitry in the drive uh, and it would need repair. Uh, when you're talking about your braking circuitry, you could be getting alarms 30, 32, or 40. Uh, those typically in indicate a failure in the regen circuit of the drive and that could be a result of, uh, that can also be caused by uh, your regen resistor being disconnected or being burned out. Uh, and that can happen uh, from uh, various different things. Uh, you wanna make sure that, it's, that the drive is professionally evaluated uh, before just replacing that regen resistor as a regen circuit failure could have been the cause of that failure. Uh, alarm 40 uh, is an over voltage alarm that can also be indicate a problem with um, with your incoming power as well as 41 and F1 alarms. Uh, so if you do have those alarms, definitely verify your incoming power as that could be the cause. Uh, for a lot of these alarms, uh, they, they can also be falsely triggered uh, if you have a problem with your control circuitry. So uh, if, the, if the problem doesn't match uh, what the cause is or, or the alarm description, uh, definitely get it evaluated uh, more thoroughly. Our, our professional technicians are trained uh, to recondition these drives and test them in our custom-built simulators along with our machines. And they do come with a 12-month warranty uh, for all our uh, repair sales and exchanges.